morning, everyone. It's uh, out to the woods. Like you don't know me. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Uh, well, good morning. <laughs> Anyways, heading off to uh, Perth. Um, do some groceries. I got to pick up a few things uh, from Canadian Tire. Put some gas in. Uh, oh yeah, this is like Wednesday the 30th, I think. Something like that, 29th? Yeah, I think it's the 29th, actually. So anyways, uh, heading to Perth, like I said. Uh, gonna do some groceries for my mother and some for myself. Whoa, slow down there, cowboy. I keep coming flying out his laneway, my neighbor. Jesus. Anyways, uh, I thought they were going to come right out. Just bang right in front of me. Um, yeah, so going to do groceries, like I said. Got to go to Canadian Tire first. I need a rake. I can't believe it. I don't know where my green rake is. Then I remembered, oh, it got smashed. And I didn't smash it. It was the, the weather. Uh, still can't figure that one out. Anyways, uh did it no argument there it definitely did it um, so I got to get a rake I need a short electrical extension cord for inside for the fan at the back um, oh I didn't put it on the list but I got to get one thing of soil as well soil I don't know what I mean for the transfer of the plants I need a little bit of extra soil it looks like I'm going to keep planting in soil this year I don't really feel like spending the money on the cocoa core and all that to start that whole process again I'll do that next year I'll um, start buying the cocoa core one a week or whatever through the net uh, through the fall when the prices go down and uh, I can stockpile everything for um, for next year. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm up to. Um, True is going to come by and have a look at the bus. We're thinking it's not the problem that the truck center said, but it's not the truck center's fault. And I say that because they called and asked me. They said, like, it's going to be 155 an hour to do a diagnosis. And you're probably figuring 10 hours for a diagnosis. So it's like, oh, okay. So, um, you know, and they said it could be the high pressure pump. And that's like inside the motor or something or on the side of the motor somewhere. You can't get at it easy. Whatever it is, I've said it before, there's a lot of baloney to, to get the um, to get to all that stuff well I did a bunch of reading about the Ford 6.0s um, it's funny there's a whole community out there that uh, swears by these motors it's a small community but I guess you know they knew after they all went through the bullshit they all kind of knew like oh well Here's what you do, here's what you do. Well, it turns out there's something called an ICP valve. And on those Ford 6.0s, um, when they go bad, and they do go bad, it's a common thing with them, apparently. Um, if they go bad, they're, if you pull the plug off it, you'll see oil inside. And if you pull that and there's oil inside, then it's bad. The other thing is too, if when you pull the plug off of it, the motor should actually start, but it only, it runs, it'll, it'll run and run smooth, but it only runs at 750 PSI pressure with that off to go to the injectors. So you need, what did it say, 22,000 pounds or something? So that's what that thing does. So, um, It might be something as simple as that. So True is gonna come over and we're gonna do that and uh, see what that is. And if it ends up being that, well, holy shit, lucky me. So um, the, high, the high pressure oil pump 
um, is not something that commonly goes. They do go. They do go, but they don't go often. Just checking. Uh, I, there's two a uh, neighbor with two trailers similar to mine on this property. I just I always watch to see what they're doing every year, like you know what improvements they've made or changes or whatever. So live and learn, eh? So, uh, yeah, so this IPV valve, IPC, IPV, oh fuck, IP, I can't remember what I said now, IP, whatever I said anyways, the IPC or IPV valve, it's just a tiny little thing. And on these motors, it supposedly sits on the passenger side uh, behind a heat shield um, on the passenger side of the motor and it sits near the turbo and that was one of the other things is is that even with the heat shield they tend to overheat and crack and stuff over time so I don't know the way it stopped and everything and of course with this valve you know if it's faulty or goes bad or whatever it you know it shows you the different things that it's going to do when it's doing that guess what exactly what happened with me so I'm thinking I'm a thinking that might be it oh fuck oh sorry about that guys my uh my thing fell off um wow I guess I gotta clean it that's the problem it's dirty yeah okay listen I'm gonna let you guys go um because this is, I can't do it this way, obviously. I'll have to clean it with some alcohol or something when I get back to the trailer. So I just transferred it from the bus back to the bus so I could do these. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know that news. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm all excited because I, I really think it's the ICP valve. ICP, insane clown posse? <laughs> Isn't that like... Uh, singers or something from my old hometown of Detroit and they also involved with wrestling or something No, it's ICP valve Ford 6.0 diesel turbo whatever so anyways I'll update you on the bus uh, when true uh, when true comes and we'll do that little test and see if that's the case okay everyone so be good please like share and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to each other after, okay? See you later. Bye-bye.